good morning you guys happy wednesday and welcome back to another daily vlog today is an exciting day i'm not gonna tell you guys what it is yet but you might see it in the title i'm not sure but we're not gonna talk about it right now i have got to get me an ice chai in me <laughs> this morning so i'm gonna get my water started here at the tea station and we're going to do ice so we're going to use one of my amazon clear cups i will link them down below if you want them and i do believe they did come up with the clear straw so it was like a set and i believe it came with like a straw cleaner as well we still have to switch over our tea station we may do that today honestly because i'm tired of reaching down trying to find my stuff so i need to get everything resituated up here for the spring and summer season i'm so excited you guys so you saw that i went ahead and made up my bed this morning uh that pajama set so i didn't do the haul for y'all guys y'all haven't even seen what i bought yet so we're going to do a little haul first and then we'll do, when i do the haul i'll do like little uh clip aways of what i bought so i told you in my wish list video that i was looking for more upscale more uh elevated <laughs> i know elevated like loungewear and not loungewear pajama sets and uh underwear sets but i'm also looking for loungewear sets i don't think i mentioned that um but we are on the hunt for replacing those things little by little this spring and summer um moving into the fall and the winter um but i have a lot to do this morning i have work to do I have some cleaning to do. I have some rearranging to do. And I'll tell you why I need to rearrange. It kind of goes with what the surprise uh, renovation is that's happening at the moment. And um, what else? I think that's it for now. Probably add to the list later. But that is at the top of the list. Rearranging, moving some stuff around, doing a little cleaning. And of course, work is always a priority because... You know, we got a job and we got to make the money to pay for these renovations, boo boo. But anyway, let me get my little ice chai. I'm going to put on my loungewear set for Uniqlo, but I did like lotion up my body. So I wanted to have time to like absorb into my skin first because I did use like some body oil. Um, I like to use body oil, but this one is a more lighter body oil that my niece made for me and she wanted me to try out. Um, uh, versus that thick Vaseline oil that just takes forever to absorb. So she gave me some of hers and y'all it's literally already almost absorbed but i just want to make sure it's all the way up absorbed because it will like you see like in some of my videos when i have on my like brown kind of golden colored robe you'll see like the streaks in it that's from the oil because i put my robe on right after i do the oil to walk around and stuff um but other than that is that thing loud i apologize it's loud um but other than that that is what we're doing um and i think i need to adjust my mic too because somebody said my audio seems distorted so i think i have my mic on my camera up too high and i think it is because looking at it now it's like going all the way to the end and i'm not even talking that loud so let me adjust that right quick um see if we can get some better audio on the videos and yeah so let me get a little things going and doing a little fun fun and then we'll come back and i'll be dressed and stuff by then so i'll see you guys in a bit back um, I got dressed because the guys are here so I didn't tell you so we are doing a renovation project and what we're doing is we are replacing my decks you guys I am so excited I'm beyond blessed to be able to pull this off this year I prayed and God has made it possible for me to get both of my decks for a very a reasonable affordable price I'm getting everything that I want so the front desk deck was a and i'll put up some pictures was a 12 by 12 previously and it's going to be downsized to an 8 by 12. i've already had somebody come out um a guy that i used to go to college with he has his own construction company and so he's him and his crew is doing this project for me um or i chose them to do the project for me so the front deck is going to be downsized by four feet so it'll be eight feet wide and a 12 feet long so the length will still be the same but it will be shortened in the width which is fine because we'll just be going into that house perfect right so then we are getting the back deck done we're getting our french doors 
we are getting our screened in portion and we're getting our open deck portion. So the back deck is going to be 10 wide. Um, and it's just because of the restrictions of the back deck. If you saw my wish list video, go back and watch it. It shows you clips of what the decks look like. I will try to remember to put it in here, but if I don't, make sure you just go watch the wish list, um, realistic wish list video. It has a video in there. Um, so it'll be 10 wide by 27 long. Now we did have a hiccup because they were trying to shorten it by seven feet. And I was like, I, no, bro, I need my seven feet. And so it's so funny. The guy, he just left, um, the, my friend who owns the company, he's leaving. Um, and the crew is here getting ready to start the front porch and build. Um, when he saw it, he was like, yeah, you need your seven feet. I was like, what am I going to do with this little stuff? He's like, yeah, you're right. So, I mean, they were going to do it <laughs> because that's what we signed the contract for. But he was like, yeah, you, you can't do nothing with that. So, they are going to also, so the deck in the front, I don't know if they're going to make it. The deck currently in the front, the previous deck was like, you had to go down, step down. I'm trying to see if they're going to make it like the height of the floor. I'm not sure. Um, but I know he said the back deck is going to be the height of the floor. So when you walk out, there will be no step down or trip or anything. It'll just be a smooth out the door transition um, for that. So, yeah, but that's what we're doing. I'm so excited, you guys, and I will take you guys along uh, for the ride. I don't know if I'm going to put it in vlogs or if I'm going to make a full dedicated video, like from beginning of the end and do like a renovation video. I'll just have to see um, how much footage I have um because i'm not into recording like everything especially if i'm not doing it myself like i get bits and pieces so it might not be enough to make a full video but there might be a video of decorating the back deck um with all the things so we may do that but we'll just see what we do but if i don't do a dedicated video to the build and everything it will definitely be probably a dedicated video to decorating and um revealing what the porch looks like once it's fully direct Decorate. I can't even talk decorated on the back, but let me get my butt into gear. Let me make my child. Let me get into doing some work and then I'll show you guys some clips of, you know, the process or whatever. And, um, I will check in with you guys later. I'm so excited. And I'll just put in some clips right here of them demoing the front porch. Unfortunately, I wasn't home. So it is from the doorbell camera, um, that picked up the footage, but um, I have some other stuff of the material and what the backyard looks like once they roped it off. Now, what you see now is the, when they wanted to shorten it by seven feet, it's not going to be that short once you, when you see this clip, but hopefully in the future, you'll see a, the clip of the full length, but let me get to work and I'll check with you. <laughs> This is day one of demolition. So you see, they've taken the porch down. They've cut down all the trees. They've kind of put where the new deck would be. So it's gonna be smaller. So instead of going all the way to the end of that um, window, it's gonna go like in the middle of the window. So here's the new holes or what they dug out. I don't know if they dug that out or what. This where the step was, we did have, um, what do you call it? It was stuck like in this concrete. I don't know what they're gonna do with the concrete. They just they'll leave it there. Um, so they basically cut everything up. And I think they've dug the new holes for the new deck already. They cut down all of the bushes like I wanted to. Um, they tore up all my stuff. Oh, ragged as hell. Um, some of this stuff was already under here. That I need to move out of the way, like batteries and stuff. So that's the front door, basically. 
and then they cut down all the trees I wanted there in front of my window. I am so excited, y'all. I am so excited. What I don't know is how to like plant something. Like I know they cut them down, but like I think the roots are still there or the stumps. So I don't know how that works. Um, so basically this is what my porch looks like. It's all dirty where the wood was. I don't think the wood was attached to the porch because I don't see where there's any holes. I think it was just leaning up against the house, if I'm not mistaken, because I don't see where it would have been attached to it. Um, so this is where the porch is gonna stop now. And the porch used to stop like over here somewhere. So right here is where the porch used to stop. I need to get somebody to pressure wash the house and clean it. Uh, so you can see right there is where the porch stopped. And so we're taking about a couple of feet away and it's gonna stop right here now, which is like right here by this window. So it'll be a smaller, which is fine with me, like I said. Uh, so they cut down the bushes here. I'm assuming it wasn't no snake. If it was a snake, they ran it off. Um, and they cut down the bushes. I'll be able to see out my window. I'll be able to finally get to my holes without being scared. Something's gonna kill me. Um, and get a new hose pipe and all of that's cleared out. So that's great. And what I can do is, I don't know if I need somebody to come and blow these leaves out of here to see what's here. Because from what I can see, I don't even see where the stumps were. Like, I don't think they took the stumps up. I'm trying to figure out where was the tree at. Oh, here it was. So you guys can see the, the little stumps. And there's wood here. So I figure like somehow I have to get all of this taken away and get stuff replanted. But I'm not sure. Um, I need a new hose pipe. That right there is electrical. Um, and then I have electrical down that way. So we have two electrical things. One by the hose pipe and one way down there. I would love to have like a garden stand here, like have like a garden. You know how people have a garden bench with the sink and stuff? So if I wanted to do some gardens, I could see it. Um, I would love that, but who knows? So that's that. I'm trying to figure out why they moved this wheelbarrow. I guess they was putting the wood over here and they moved the wood barrel to put the wood here. So I have to move that back where it was. Um, so yeah, it looks weird not having no porch right there. <laughs> So we gotta go through the back door to get into the house or whatnot. So we'll definitely be able to do a lot more lawn. And, oh, they've already like did something. This is too short. So my deck is supposed to go all the way down here. So what's the problem? Is there a pipe right there or something? They didn't dig a hole right here. Yeah, that's not right. That's not long enough for what he charged me. I don't know what they did, but they missing, they missing another post. It's supposed to come all the way down here. So he needs to tell me why it's not coming all the way down here. Did they get tired? I don't know. Because this is not gonna be enough room to what I wanna do. So I need to understand these measurements that they have going on. So I'm about to contact my little guy and ask him, what is, is this the part that's gonna be screened in? I'm confused. So that's what it's looking like right now. All right, you guys, I just got home. Yes, I'm already in my pajamas. <laughs> that part but anyway this is my front door as you see we don't have a porch i think i showed you guys that the other day but they did finally deliver the material even though it's supposed to deliver it last week finally got it delivered today so we have that little pile and you see i'm already mad because they don't tow up my grass child they don't mess it up right here they don't mess up a little bit over there like they did a loop through the yard or something who knows when you're not at home they don't care about tearing your shit up um and so they just piled all the wood right there. So you see wood, that screen door go to the enclosed part on the back deck. Um, and then I think that right there is like concrete and stuff or something, child. I don't know. But anyway, and then they didn't deliver the French doors, but my 
um, contractor says he has it at his house because he did not want it to get damage that part so i still need to like get these wood pieces up and move them and get this all cleaned up i don't have a rake or i would have raked all of this up but i don't have one definitely need to figure out how to rake up all these leaves here to kind of see what the ground looks like right here i'm not really sure because we have this big tree leaves always gather here and die here so it looks way better with the trees gone. I know I want to replace it with something, but I don't know what or how. But we'll just figure that out later. I'm just glad it's cleared away and manageable um, is what I'm looking for. Because as a single woman trying to maintain a yard, it's not the easiest thing to do. Because you're limited. On, well, I'm limited on what I can do. I mean, I can do a lot, but some stuff I just can't do myself. So that part. But that's what it looks like, you guys. Maybe they almost finished building the front deck already. Like, they're putting the floor down. Like, it's crazy. Oh, and there's somebody in the back doing something, too. He must have just got back there. Oh, he's getting ready to put the post in. I know they said they have to do the quick concrete for the post. And it takes like an hour, but it ain't been no hours since they let that sit. But I guess they know what they're doing, child. I can't tell nobody. Uh, so sorry for all the noise that you guys are going to hear. But the show must go on, right? So right now, I had an impromptu meeting with one of my coworkers. So I hadn't, I wasn't able to make my chai. So I'm trying to get it together. We have a meeting in 15 minutes as well. So I'm trying to get that together. Uh, my battery is at 19 minutes. So I need to change that out in a bit as well. I'm really like impressed but when somebody know how to do their job I guess it just go fast you just can't assume they don't know what they're doing I'm just making sure this is sweet y'all know I like my chai sweet a tad bit more honey <laughs> um but I am so excited also I talked to him about my hallway he said I do need I do need like recess lighting down the hallway he said that one little light should have been way more and i knew it but i told him you know tell me how much and i wonder if we could throw that in too like make another side contract for his electrician to come out here and do that right quick because that's literally gonna take a day like honestly it's not gonna take that long um and just pay them for that one because i told you guys before i've been wanting that hallway light situation to be updated Cause it's just so dark down that hallway even when you turn the light on because they didn't put the light in the middle of the hallway they put it all the way down so it can light like the little section like this so you have the hallway and then it opens up into the four different doors that are there and so they put the light way down which is stupid but you know i don't build houses but i got a little sense you know what i'm saying okay the base is done and I'm eventually going to show you guys how I make a big batch so that in the morning I don't have to do this every morning. And now that it's getting warmer and I know I'm going to want an ice chai, I make me a big batch that will last me for the week. And I will show you guys that maybe in the week, this weekend we'll get it together. Um, I don't think it's going to be today, but I will show you guys how I make a big batch um, of my ice chai. So I can just pour in the morning. I can just do my oat milk and put my brown sugar um, syrup in there, whip it up already have the cold iced chai 
chilled in the refrigerator so i'll just pour it in and then pour that in and then it literally takes five minutes instead of having to wait for it to steep and do all this kind of stuff so that's that um but yeah so i'm gonna make that and i ain't even got my watch on i feel naked let me go put my watch on and then we're about to get into another meeting so i will see you guys after that meeting and i'll try to give you an update on the deck but i feel kind of weird recording people but they about to get recorded today <laughs> sorry for you <laughs> Ice chai is made and I cleared all my plants from here because they're going to be putting the door here so I wanted to clear everything away out here since there's an electrical uh, plug right there they'll be able to move the plug to the other side of the wall to give me electricity out there so that's perfect so that won't cost too much extra because if they would have had to run new plugs and stuff it might have cost me extra but they don't have to do that so that's great so they're gonna be able to do that from there um, the little guys out there putting out the wood so i just moved my plants into the den they won't get the best sunlight but i'm hoping like when the porch is done i'll be able to have them outside this summer it'll be, it's always shade it's a lot of like open sun area here but because the sun doesn't set in the back of my house and more on the side it gets shady during the night and i'll have the enclosed part so i don't know how much will be on the enclosed part and how much will be in the uh, outside but that'll help with that let me change out my battery and then let me put on my watch because I feel naked without my watch and my meeting starts in one minute so let me get my watch on let me get a new battery and like I said I will check in with you guys in a little bit to kind of give you an update of where they are on the porch and since my doorbell camera is getting a lot of the footage it's not going to be the best footage I'm going to try to insert some footage from the doorbell camera as well of like just different increments of them building because it's literally getting everything <laughs> too bad it's not 4k quality with that part all right guys it's 11 30. i'm out of my meeting they not playing they already built the, the front porch already so this is the new porch hopefully this it's in a like i said eight wide by 12 long so it's still big it doesn't go all the way but that's still a nice um big porch um of course they don't have the steps yet and i'll just open it up a little bit so this is what it looks like you guys it still has a little step but it's a higher than the other one because i think the other one went a little lower but yeah this is the new porch looks good they haven't done the stairs yet or anything um but they got the four posts they're going to put the railing around it, of course, and then they're going to put the stairs and then that'll be done. So this might be done tomorrow, maybe since they went so fast. I think they have to let it set the concrete. <laughs> Baby, they're going through some wood. That was a whole big pile of wood, as y'all saw earlier. That's no longer there. <laughs> and now they're starting on the back already. They're digging the holes and getting the poles in. I'm uber impressed how fast this is going. The um, owner is supposed to be coming back with the door i don't know when they're gonna cut the door out but i need them to cut the door out and have the door done before like nighttime hits like i don't want anybody to have any uh thoughts about breaking in while the door is not all together right i need to call my security company that reminds me and order this new door sensor so the alarm will go off when that door is opened as well but yeah nice and sturdy looks good did a great job on you know getting everything together or whatnot a porch is a porch child that deck is gonna be a deck though <laughs> i'm so excited oh good lighting hey i'm just kidding all right i'll be back <laughs> all right guys so it's 12 30 i'm taking a lunch break um i just ran to dollar general right quick and I just picked up some of the snack on. I know I probably didn't need it. I'm over here washing the dishes too, multitasking, doing lunch. I love being at home, doing <laughs> working from home because doing lunch break, you can get a lot done. That part. So I was in there looking for something to eat. So I wanted to try this Thai pie, Thai pay, Thai pay. I don't know. Thai, thai pie. I feel like a Thai pie, but anyway, beef and broccoli, beef and broccoli and Asian style sauce with fried rice. 13 grams of protein. 380 calories that's 13 grams of sugar too it's a lot of sugar for some pie. okay beef and broccoli says remove the band microwave on high with lid on for four and a half minutes and then let it stand for two minutes to complete 
cooking and then carefully remove lid container will be extremely hot settling may occur stir well before en eating enjoy frozen to cooked so we're gonna try this out Put it in the microwave, as my kids used to say. Mama, can I use the microwave? Do y'all kids used to pronounce the microwave like that? The microwave? It's so funny. I think my cousin used to pronounce it like that too. And we still laugh at her to this day about it. Um, but anyway, it's like, what is that? Oh, it's my hair. It's like, <laughs> I must cling on. So I'm washing dishes. I'm about to finish that up right quick. And then I need to finish sweeping the floor from where I moved the plants. I got some dirt and stuff on the floor I need to clean up right quick. And then keep hearing noises, y'all. I'll be forgetting them folks out there. And then we're going to put this in here for four minutes. Um, so I'm about to do that. So I'll check back in with you guys and just give you a little update on everything um, while we're eating. So let's get a sneak peek of the back. I was trying to not be, you know. They did cut those bushes for me though, because they had to come back here and walk. <laughs> they didn't want to walk all the way around. So they cut the bushes. Oh, look you guys. I'm gonna have a dick. Oh my goodness. Oh, it looks so good. Ooh, that's gonna look great, you guys. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. They out here working today, baby. Okay. The little delays, they make it, they trying to make up for them delays, boop, boop. I love it. I wish we could have went all the way to the end of the house, but that that gas, stupid gas meters right there. Why they put it right there? It should have been on the other side. But no, they want to put it around the back of the house. So that's the only reason why I can't go even further down. Because I would have went all the way to the end of the house if I could have. But that meter was in the way. But it's fine. We, we got as close to the meter as we could without, you know hitting any pipes or causing any issues in case they need to look at it or get to it. But yeah, that's what we're looking like, you guys. Looking really good. This will really ever help me determine, you know, what the furniture and stuff is looking like, will look like in here. I can kind of like gauge it. So I'm so excited, guys. Yay! I'm off because I have to check on something right quick. But <laughs> these workers are so funny. Like I had some chairs that was on the porch that I put down. Baby, don't take the chairs, put it all up under my tree over here in the front yard. They have microwaves in their truck. And they literally out there eating lunch as a group. It's so funny. It's not funny, but it's actually a good thing. They're saving money. So they brought all their food. And I have plugs out there, so they plugged it up. And they just out there sitting in the chair. I only had one, two, only had three chairs. So I wonder where the other people are sitting. Because uh, I only had three chairs. So maybe they're sitting on the grass. I don't know. But Or maybe they had their own chair. If I had three chairs, but they don't pull them chairs. Even the rocking chair in the grass. <laughs> I'm weak. I wonder if they pulled over my tables too. Because <laughs> I had like three tables. Like a big long one and two side tables. Maybe they probably set up a whole picnic <laughs> situation over there. I'm weak. But anyway, um, my little lunch is ready. My second child of day don't water down on me. But it was so good this morning. I was trying to use it all up. I think I still got something left. So I might make one later on. Yeah, I got enough, enough to make maybe one, maybe even two more since I do half milk or whatever. All right, so my lunch has been sitting for a lot of amount of time. They said it needed to sit and then you're supposed to stir it up. So let's do that and let's see what we got going on. All right, so it looks like this before you stir it up. Let's stir it up and see. Baby, they need to put some more sauce in here. <laughs> Don't look like I got no sauce. Oh, the sauce is all the way at the bottom. See, that's why you should put the sauce at the bottom, a little bit in the middle, and a little bit on the top. So when it warms up, I guess you're supposed to stir it up and get it all together. So let's stir it up. Get it all together here. I'm trying to do better about eating three times a day. I didn't eat breakfast, so I'll eat that part. Guess that didn't really work out for me this morning. Oh, they don't open the window. You gotta close that window back. Them damn wasps out there. I'm about to go to the damn window back. <laughs> I realize they open the window. She asked me, did I want to keep those windows? That's the only reason why I keep them. 
if I was building a greenhouse, but them not them good wood windows that you need to build a greenhouse. Them different kind of windows. So I don't know if I'll be able to use them. Y'all know I have enough land. I would love to have a greenhouse. Like when I say I'm gonna be living out here in luxury, like I'm gonna piece this little land together, okay? On my budget, on my income, and get me some things while I'm working. Like I'm gonna start saving up for the things that I want and the way that I want it and how I want it to be. For real. Like we're gonna start manifesting and praying for some things. I've been kind of selfish with my prayers, not for myself. I've been praying for other people and other things. But I think it's time for me to be a little selfish with these prayers. What y'all think? I feel like I need to be like, but I don't pray for everybody. Look, can I pray? My I pray for myself, but not in the aspect of abundance. It's more like, thank you for forgiving me for being a sinner or acting a fool the other day or cussing somebody out. That's the kind of stuff that I pray for, like repent, like repent for having an attitude and all this other kind of stuff. But I don't really, pr I, pr I also pray and say, thank you for all the things that I have. But I don't think I've ever like prayed like this is what I want. Like, God, this is what I want. And so as far as the decks, I knew I wanted the decks, but I don't ever remember praying to God to provide for me to be able to have these decks. But once I knew I could get the decks, I did thank him. And I did say, you know, thanks so much for blessing me. So is that like the same thing? I don't know. But I do be like, like Jesus, won't he do it? Hey, because baby, I be acting a fool. God shouldn't give me nothing. But, you know, I repent probably too much, but... We working on it. Where they say, God know my heart, even though it be acting a fool. Okay, I'm a good person. Deep down, I'm a good person, y'all, for real, for real. Like I be like rough and tough, but I ain't really rough and tough. I'm really a big softy. Don't tell nobody, okay? Even though I just told the whole internet, don't tell nobody. Don't nobody watch these videos, but y'all. So you know, keep that secret. You know, I gotta put my thug persona on. <laughs> okay, I gotta put my thug persona on. No, but seriously. So he did say they are going to move the door over a little bit. So it won't be exactly where the windows are. They're going to move it over. I think it's because they have to do framing or something. I don't know, child. Because I was like, how are you going to move it over? Like, is the siding going to be missing or something? We're going to put it back. I don't know what that means. Because when they move the window over, I'm like, do you encase it with wood? So, like, you don't have to replace the house, part of the house that you, that was already cut out, even though you move it over. You see what I'm saying? I don't know how this shit works, but they're going to figure it out. Anyway, I'm just rambling. I'm finna finish my stuff because I got to go back to work in like 10 minutes. So, let me finish my food. And get my life together. So, I'll check in with you guys in a bit and give you kind of update. We had to pick Jaden up from school today because she has... Her play is this weekend, so she goes to the play on Friday and on Saturday. You know, top, tickets are $10 a piece. When my son get back, I'm going to ask him if he going Friday and Saturday or if he just going one day so I know how many tickets to buy. So we can buy them online. And then she has to go to practice today from two, from 3.30 to 7 o'clock. So I'm going to go take her there. I don't know if I'm going to come at home. If they're not gone, I'm going to come back home because I don't know if they're going to need me or not or need to come in the house. And then I'll go back and get her. Even though it's damn far as hell. I'm waste of damn gas. But I, I like to be home when folks about to tell my shit. So <laughs> that part. I'll be back. Right, so the owner came back. And they're going to change the plans on the, the French doors. We're still going to be able to do the doors. But they're not going to be able to make it flush with the actual floor in the house. I have to step down like three inches. Which isn't that much. We used to step down at the front door. We don't have to step down as much at the front door. Um, now... But because of the height of my ceilings, because I live in a manufactured home, the door would go two inches above the ceiling. And you don't ever want to take out the damn ceiling to put in no dough. So they're going to have to bring the door down a little bit, which is fine with me. But I do need to go to the store and get the doorknobs. Because he's talking about they're going to be there. He said they might be done by the end of the week. I'm like, damn, y'all ain't playing. He's talking about some two weeks. I'm like, what was two weeks at then? But if they be done, he said I'll definitely be done by... Um, Memorial Day weekend so he said it shouldn't be a problem for me to be able to have a party out here or have a gathering or some sort I'm so excited you guys ah! okay I don't be an extra I gotta go back to work but I'll check in with you guys in a bit I just want to tell you that because he just gave me an update so I'll be back All right, we picked up the senior hi senior got like two more weeks of school y'all <laughs> she oh y'all I am we're getting ready to take her to do her dress rehearsal 
for the Adams Family Music Club. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> we about to get some jacks before I drop her off. She gotta be there at three thirty. But the way they going, we might have to go to Pale City and see what's at the end of that road mm -hmm. and pick some up. So, cause they hanging too long. You gotta be there at three thirty. Mm -hmm. A little bit late, not a little bit late. They said it was fun. Oh, okay. okay, they moving now. Cause y'all about to get only mess an inch. Well, at least we can order. Hello, can I have two number sevens, the four pieces? What's your dream? Uh, high C, what you want? A high C, also with no ice. One high C with ice and one high C with no ice. And okay. one with two barbecues and one with two honey mustards. And that'll be all. You can pull forward, thank you. Thank you. If we can even make it forward. Forward enough. Dang it. I thought we was crazy. They thought we was crazy. <laughs> <laughs> they thought we was crazy. We not the only crazy ones out here making noise, y'all. But the decks look so good. I'm so excited. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so excited. He said he might be finished with both of them by the end of the week. That went fast. Because he originally told me two weeks. Mm -hmm. But he said they trying to start another project. I said, okay, don't be rushing my shit now. No, okay. I'll call y'all back. Tell my stuff. Be good with my makeup. Look at her. Get out of my camera. Where you going at? Where you going at? When the last time you vlogged? How <laughs> did you see a school ass over on that side? When the last time you vlogged? When the last time you vlogged? When the last time you vlogged? Hmm? Hmm? Since our New York trip. Oh. When they ever gonna see the trip? <laughs> that part. Just go watch my trip. Don't worry about it. It was the same thing. <laughs> Same thing, same thing. Technically, yeah, but they want to see mine. Like Baby, you, you, gonna, wanna you gonna wanna see hers more, but she ain't gonna get these. I am gonna give it to her. It'll be two years now. <laughs> anyway, we about to get food. I can fool on the way up to this place. I'm gonna drop off. Go get my stuff. I need to get a door lock, key made, and something else. I can't remember. Oh, light bulb. And then that's it. But I'll check it with you later. <laughs> so I'm back and it's 421. I just stopped at this wholesale place that I saw on Facebook. I was looking for like one of those coolers that are that sits up high and is on the roller so you can like roll it around. You put the ice in and it has the tops. I just found one for $80 at this place. The cheapest is I found, I believe. It don't matter. I pay $80. I don't care if it's one cheap. I got that one. And I thought I wanted like light wood furniture, but I'm thinking more maybe darker furniture I don't know it depends on the accessories that I get because they have at that same place they only take cash so I didn't bring enough money but they have um, fire pit tables they have one that had glass and that was put together I should have took a picture it looks absolutely gorgeous um, but that one was already put together and it definitely wouldn't fit in my car <laughs> but he said he had another one available that um, had rocks but he said you can always change out the the uh, the stuff that goes below the fire now it doesn't come with glass around it he says so it'll be out there so if you burn yourself but it does come like if you're not using it it does come with a tile a piece of tile t-i-l-e i'm so country tile tile <laughs> that you put in over the fire pit when not in use so it's a full lift table and I do like that, but I think it's kind of big for my space. It's 44 by 44, which is a little over three feet, I think. Almost four feet maybe wide and four feet deep. So depending on what furniture I get, I don't know if it's going to fit. I don't want to be cramped. I don't want to have to like scooch by my furniture. So I want to wait till they get finished and kind of measure it out. Like I told them, if it's there, when I get to buy it, if it ain't there, then what meant to be type situation. You know, I'm not going to dwell on it or whatever or whatnot. Um, but I would really love to have one like in the covered section so like if I'm out there and it's cold I can have something to warm up that space um, especially if I put like curtains that will help keep the temperature in um, during like the, the colder times of the year because I'll sit out there all year long to be honest um, so yes yeah, so that's what I'm thinking but I don't know how big that is compared to the kind of furniture I'm trying to get either I've seen a couple of like patio sets on Facebook markets 
Uh, I saw one today that was actually $400 that looked really decent. It might need some new cushions or the cushions need to be washed. I don't know which one it is. Um, and I was thinking about getting that one. So I'll have to do some measuring. I hope they maybe got the floor in before I leave before they leave today. Since they had most of the back deck built already. Um, because the front deck, you saw they did the poles and they had the floor in. And then I'm hoping the back deck, they got the floor in. Because when I was leaving, they had the joists that go across like this. And they was going to put the floor down. So maybe they'll have the floor down before they leave today. I don't know. They're still there. I'm headed back home now. I didn't stop at Home Depot yet. I'm going to stop when I have to pick Jalen up. She gets out of uh, rehearsal at 7. So it's I'll get home probably about 5. So they'll give me like an hour or two to chill out. Because she needs to go buy... She said she needs to go get some uh, aprons or something. I don't know what the hell she needs an apron for. But she said she needs some aprons and some hangers. So I told her we could go by Walmart. Um, and the Home Depot and the Walmart are like right by each other. So we'll stop by there. And um get the door lock and all the little other stuff because I think they may cut out the wall tomorrow to put in the door as fast as they're going or I don't know if they're going to wait till they enclose it. I feel like you should put in the door before you enclose it just in case the door don't fit through the enclosure because the it's going to be a fresh door out to the enclosed section but the door to get out of the enclosed section to the outside is just a little screen door you know the same little door. I don't know if that big door is going to fit through there so they may have to do that tomorrow before they do all the other shit or whatnot or whatnot child and I'm gonna need to have a doorknob so I can lock damn door <laughs> so that part but anyway that's what I'm doing right now so I will check in with you guys later just wanted to give you guys an update on what was going on and when I get home and when they get ready to leave I will give you guys another uh, preview of what it looked like they're going so fast I don't think this is going to be a whole renovation vlog like I said I think it's just going to be bits and pieces until they're finished and then We'll probably do maybe a decorate with me on the patio or some shit. I don't know what I'm going to call it. But y'all know what I mean. So that part. But anyway, I will see you guys later. Why are they part right now? There's some more weird stuff out here, child. Any hoozy. I'll talk to y'all later because I'm being nosy as fuck. <laughs> Let me stop. Let me mind my business. That part. Right, guys, so here is the front of the house now that all the bushes have been cut down here. He did tell me those things growing on the wall and on that tree is poison ivy so watch out when i get ready to clean it off but this is what it's looking like you guys this is what the front porch is looking like now it is like i said it's a lot smaller as you guys can tell but it's still big enough for the area here so literally from here to the shutter right there is how much feet. It's like four feet uh, shorter. The length is still the same. The width, rather. The length is four foot shorter. But I think it still looks really good, really spacious, big enough to go in and out of the house, basically. Because we're going to be chilling on the back porch. But yeah, so that's what that looks like. It's crazy that I don't have to put no poles in the middle of this stuff. But... Yes, they know what they're doing, child. But anyway, let's go get Jay. And then this is my door. Then show you guys. So this is the French door that's going in tomorrow. It's a white door. So yeah, looks really good. So I think we're just gonna go with all white doors. I thought I wanted a wood door in the front, but I want all my doors to match or look really good. So I think we're just gonna do um, white doors throughout the house. So we'll see. Now, this says it's an in-swing door, but I. I told him I wanted the door to swing out. So hopefully it don't swing in the house. But we'll see. How they gonna do that. <laughs> Alright you guys. It's 6. 12 and the guys just left. So we're gonna go out and sneak and look at the back porch. Because they just stopped on the front porch. But baby they went to town. On this back porch. You hear me? To town. So let's go give it a look of who. Oh wait. I need that. Let's go give it a look of who before we go pick up Jalen. Uh, let's just do arming stay. Back door ah! 
All right, so this is what the back deck looks like now. So it's gonna be a little step down, like he said, not that far from the window, of course. But this is the deck. Get up on top of it. They so messy. Anyway, they've already got like the railing in on most of, most of it here. So it'll go all the way down here. And then it'll be stairs to get down. And then this is that gas thing that I was telling you about. That we couldn't go that far because this thing was here. If this wasn't here, I literally would have went to probably right before the end of the house to be honest. But this is cool. Yes. Now what I'm worried about is where I think right here, if I'm not mistaken, is where the enclosed part will stop. Does that still look small? So we may not be able to put a table in here like I thought I would, but as long as we get a couch and a conversation piece, I guess it's fine. And maybe I can even get a little, what do you call it? A little bistro table in the corner or something. But we'll just have to see. I think somebody left their measuring tape, so I'm going to measure right quick. <laughs> I know I'm extra, but I got to do it. All right, let's see. Here. Let's see how much 14 feet is. So this is 12, where I'm standing is 12 feet. So if where I'm standing is 12 feet, I'll just put a little thing right here to mark it. So this is 12 feet. Another two feet would be right here so that's 14 feet right there kind of like where this pole is right here but the weird thing is there's no pole right there was there supposed to be a pole right here how are they gonna make the door I'm confused. <laughs> but I don't know how to build nothing either. I love it. There's no gap here. They made sure nothing will fall on the side of the house. Like in between the gaps. So I do love that. But, okay, so that's 14 feet. 14 plus 12 is what? 26? <coughs> so let's go another 12 feet and let's see how long the deck really is. <coughs> Hold on. So this is 14 feet here. So let's, stick, oh, let's stick our little piece of wood on top of it so it doesn't move, hopefully. <coughs> and let's go out and see how long this goes. So this is 12 feet. So yeah. They literally have it right at 27. <coughs> so, I think they're going to do, if that's, okay. I'm just trying to see how big this is going to be so I can determine. So, that's 12 feet. This is 14 feet. And since this post is here, I'm thinking this is where the door is going to be. Cause baby the door is not gonna be right here they better not put this door right here i mean it like this is not enough room <coughs> sorry it's all the sawdust <coughs> i apologize i think it's sawdust y'all but from here to that pole i don't think that's enough room for me to have an enclosed section i need all my feet <laughs> like i really want 14 which would be here because if I do 14, I can get some stuff. But I think they're going to do it like right here, honestly. But we'll see what they do. <coughs> because they have this extra thing here 
makes me think this is where the door is going to be. But that ain't right. That ain't what he told me. Because this is like right by the tea station. He said it would be in from the inside of the house. He showed me where it was stopping. This ain't it. He said he was coming early in the morning. So I'm going to clarify with him. Where it going to be at. Just so we can be 100% sure. Because he said half and half. Half is you have to do one foot less on, e on either side. I'd rather have <coughs> one foot more in the screened in and one foot less. In the outside so from here i would still have all of this room to have like the barbecue grill i'll probably put a barbecue grill like in the corner um right there <coughs> not by the window but right here and then i'll still have a lot of seating and stuff on this outside or whatnot so that's what i'm thinking but we'll just see what he says tomorrow you know or whatnot and that's why i like to be home because you'll get home and they'll be did some shit you ain't asked their ass to do <laughs> that part but yeah it's looking really good i like the little post it does look better than the last type of railing we had so he got the he said these are the real type of railings last time on my other deck they just used two by fours to do the railing he said that's not the best way to do it this is the best way to make it look nice and clean and i do agree with him on that piece um so yeah but yeah, I still can come over here with my weed eaters, cut this part. I'm going to have to cut this. And then, oh, that's where they had the hole last time. And I told them, nope, I don't want no hole right there. So they got the little cement here. I don't know why they have two poles down there. I don't know what they're doing, but looks really good. What do you guys think? <laughs> this will be the last time you see it. The next time you see it, it should be all done. Which should be in Friday's vlog. Because he said they should be done. But we'll see. It looks like he cut into the wood by mistake when he was trying to, to saw these evenly. Hope they don't mess up later. I'm going to ask him about it. <laughs> I was like, they're going to jack up my shit later. Put a crack in it or something. Nobody got time, buddy. He has to cut that off level. But yeah, it looks really good. Better than my ass could have did. I should have sat here and watched and learned how to do this shit myself. Because I mean, I literally probably could do it. The only thing I don't know how to do is the post. Like, I'm scared of like doing the cement, but it looked like it wasn't that damn hard. It looked like I could have did this shit myself. Maybe next time we have to replace the deck, I could do it myself. That part. <laughs> but I don't know how true it is. But anyway, let me go. I'll give you one last look at the deck and they said they're gonna put the door in tomorrow so i definitely have to go get the door knob tonight um but yeah that's the deck so this is my window for my house and that's all the way those windows are for the den so 27 feet long deck out back and we still have our back door right there um there won't be a door to go out this side to the back door i told them i didn't want that if you want to go out you're either gonna go in the house or are you going to go out that way and walk around? One of the two. Oh, and maybe I should have told him. No, I don't want to have two decks on the screen in section. I was like, maybe I should have told him to uh, screen, to make a door on this side to go out. But that doesn't make any sense either. None of this shit makes sense, but we're going to figure it out. I'm trying to see if this is the cut for the steps in the front. I feel like that's what it is. This right here. You know how they make them little teeth to make steps? I think these are going to be the steps in the front. Hopefully. But they're going to do the door tomorrow. It's going to be loud. He got screens here. I'm trying to see if there's anything I can steal off of these windows for inside the house. I found one thing I can steal. Because one of the house is missing the inside pane. And it's been missing since before I moved in. <clears throat> so I stole one of these since these windows are coming out and put it on that window. It's missing a top pane too. So I'm trying to see how these top panes are in there. So when this comes out, I can steal the top pane as well. But I think they're in there by these little clips. So we're going to figure out how to get that in there later on. Uh, but yeah, I need to get a garbage can and pick up their damn trash and leave a garbage bag out here for their ass and let them know. Throw your shit away in the garbage bag. <laughs> 
you know, you got to get subtle hints. But anyway, let me go get Jalen. But that's the porch, you guys. We're going to be out here chilling all summer long. Hey, hey. <laughs> I know. I'm so excited. It's ridiculous. I apologize if y'all are, if I'm looking real cringy right now. But I'm just so excited. Uh, but let's go get the little one. Guys, it is late. I just got home at 930. Fooling around with freaking Jalen Rose. So we had to pick her up. She wasn't on time. She didn't get out of practice at 7. She got practice about 7.30. Then we had to go to Walmart, find an apron. Then find but two for some at school. Way to the last minute, of course, as always. Then went to Home Depot. Got the lock and bolt set. I decided not to get the keyless. I don't feel like being bothered. So, And then they didn't have the one I wanted. It wasn't wireless. It wouldn't connect to the alarm system. So I was like, well, you know what? Fuck it. Just get a regular door knob. Okay, I'll just get a regular one. Every house, every door in the house don't need to have a smart lock, right? So I just got a regular door knob and I got some light bulbs. And then I did get the keys for the back door since Jayla only one who had to key the back door and made copies. One for me and Mari. And then she had to go to Five Below, child. So we just now made it home. I'm so tired. I apologize for not being able to do the haul today, but I will definitely get it in Friday's vlog. So just stay tuned to the weekend vlog and you'll see the haul. I do have on one of the pajama sets now. Um, it looks like this. It has like black piping and it's really pretty. This one I got from, um, I want to say Boohoo, if I'm not mistaken on sale for like $40 or something. It's really nice fabric, really, really nice. I like it. It's very tall, people friendly. Best part. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this daily vlog and as excited as I am on the progress of the port, the deck project that will be done. Hopefully at, by the end of this week. They said it'll be done by the end of this week. So we'll see what they we'll see if it's done or not, child. That's what they said. But they got a lot done today. So, hell, they might be right. But that's what's going on. I hope you enjoyed the vlog. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Uh, make sure you subscribe. Make sure you turn that notification bell. Because Friday, if they are done, then you guys will see the, this weekend. You'll see the whole deck all done. And before I do any decorating or anything like that. So stay tuned. It's only if they're done. If they're not done, I'll just give you an update um, until they are finished completely. So I will check in with you guys in a bit. Deuces. <laughs>